Hey guys, Paul here. You will need a laptop, you will need a power cord, you will need an iPad 1, 2, or 3, iPhone, and your iPod Touch. Now let's get set up. Let's start off by downloading Absinthe 2.0. I'll have the link to this site in the description below. Absinthe 2.0 will jailbreak all devices, excluding the Apple TV, running 5.1.1. Now scroll down until you see Absinthe 2.0. You will either download the Mac, Windows, or Linux version. I've got the Mac here. Let's open Absinthe up. Once that's finished, open up the application. Make sure your device is obviously plugged into your computer and select open. Now you will see Absinthe locate your device. That's a good sign. And all you have to do is select jailbreak. Now the device is beginning the jailbreak and this may take a while. This is a great jailbreak, very simple no DFU mode required. Let's head to the phone here and see the progress. You will see in the upper left the the syncing symbol. Let that run through its process here. Again this may take a little while. It takes upwards to complete the whole jailbreak about 8 to 10 minutes. Now let's head back to the computer and it's sending the initial jailbreak data and this may also take a while. Now this is the first jailbreak available for the new iPad. So if you've got your new iPad and you haven't experienced jailbreaking, I recommend doing it. It's a lot of fun. Also I would support the uh, Chronic Dev team by donating via PayPal. Now it's sending the final jailbreak data. Let's head to the device and see what's going on. And here it looks like it's restoring in progress and it's going to complete the restore. Now back to the computer it is waiting for the reboot. Again don't touch anything. Let it run its course. It's not done yet. Don't unplug. Don't touch the device. and now the progress is complete again don't touch anything let the phone reboot this takes uh, about a minute or so after this you'll see Apple logo with the progress bar and this will go pretty quickly and after this you will be presented with the lock screen and now don't touch anything once you see the lock screen just let it be let's head back to the computer and see what's going on follow the directions here it's waiting for the progress to complete again now it's done now you can go ahead and unlock your device Let's unlock the device and let's head to Cydia. There is Cydia. Open that up and let it prepare the file system. And again Cydia will exit when this process is complete. This could take a little while as well depending on your connection. I'm using my 3G connection right here. I recommend doing this over Wi-Fi. But 3G does work.
once this is done, it will hop out of Cydia. This is fine. It will go back to the lock screen. And let's go ahead and slide to unlock our device. Head back to Cydia. And either select user, hacker, or developer. And I usually select the developer mode. And select done. And there you go. Your iOS device on 5.1.1 is now jailbroken. And if you have any questions, leave some comments down below. Also, don't forget to hit the subscribe button above if you want to see more videos like this. And also hit the thumbs up like button down below. I really appreciate it. This is Paul. Thanks for watching. God bless.